What's way more dangerous than most people think? Driving tired sleepy. Bites from other human beings are actually really dangerous due to infection rates. A friend bit me once. I turn into her every full moon. Ums once bit my stir. People know that rip currents are dangerous, but don't think about them as a real threat often enough. I'm from Florida. My whole entire life I was taught to swim parallel to shore when stuck in a rip current. They teach it in schools. There are commercials about it. The signs say it. You'd think it would be ingrained. But what does my grown ass do the first time I got sucked into a rip current? Panicked my ass off and almost drowned. I got stuck in one as a kid and I never knew about the parallel swimming dot I was alone while it took me. But somehow I instinctively knew I had to swim that way to get out. I ended up around one mile where I was. Shit is scary as duck. Grew up swimming in the ocean and had swimming lessons since I was in diapers. Have always been a strong swimmer and confident in the water. When I was a young teenager I got caught in a rip current. I quickly realized what was happening as I was swimming as hard as I could toward shore and was still going in the wrong direction. Even though I was a strong swimmer I panicked. I was alone in the water and thankfully composed myself. Regardless of ability it's still pretty terrifying. So is it just a current that carries you away or does it continually hit you with waves? Like does it bury you underwater? You almost don't even notice it happening until you realize you're getting farther and farther away from shore. There's no waves and you don't get pulled under. It's like being on a conveyor belt except the conveyor belt is an unimaginably gigantic mass of water. You have to swim parallel to the shore while angling slightly toward it. Once you get out of the current of water, or the conveyor belt, then you're good but it takes a while. If executed successfully, when you get to shore, you'll find yourself very far away from where you started. You'll also be exhausted from the swimming. I was wiped by the time I got my feet on dry land but I was also tuned up on adrenaline. Once you realize that you're getting pulled away your instinctive reaction is to swim toward shore but it's pointless. The force is too much and you'll just keep getting pulled out as you fatigue. That's when it hits you that if you don't figure out how to get back to shore ASAP then you're going to die out there. That's pretty effing scary. Most people are at one. Not very strong swimmers in two. Suck on to the panic. You don't think clearly when you panic and even if you were told what to do beforehand it's easy to forget when you're in a time-sensitive life or death situation. Towing a stuck car with a chain, there is a list of people who have died from having the chain come through the back window and kill them. If there's one thing I'll always stress, it's a real tow rope. Endless uses, not that expensive, you'll probably only ever need to buy one, they won't smash your skull in if they break and put some weight in the middle, a simple jacket will do. That way, in case the rope does snap, shit can still happen, the small weight gives just enough momentum to send the energy down, so it will hit the ground or your legs. Your legs will still shatter, but way better than your rib cage or your face. This detail is something I'd never have thought of. Clutch guy over here. Listening to loud music using earbuds, or really any headphones. Having permanent hearing damage sucks. M40 with the hearing of 70-year-old tinnitus, constant ringing in both ears certain music can make it worse and drive me absolutely bad he can't hear people at restaurants and bars what? What? What protect your ears at it, just had a bonus feature, all ringing goes away, then a singular tone comes up in one ear at double the normal volume at it too, woke up to 146 replies, yes tried the hands over ears drum head thingy to no avail. Yes headphones, and car, loud bars and heavy metal concerts have destroyed it. At it 3. Remembered two things, one? Probably got tinnitus from Metallica 2004 concert I remember having a phone sales job where it was painful to be on the phone for three days too. Was applying for medical studies to make some summer cash, got my hearing tested for one, already had a high frequency loss, I was 22. You have about 11 years on me as well. Glad to hear it just gets worse. Attempting to change garage door springs without knowing what you're doing can kill you. Same with car springs. I did that once in the shop I worked at when I was young and my boss was really mad. You want that spring in your teeth? He screamed at me. Moose. Bigger threat to people up here than bears. Edit, clarification by up here I mean Canada. Another clarification we have a lot of moose and not a lot of grizzly bears. The more common bears black bears while still shouldn't be provoked, are a lot smaller and more timid than grizzlies. 
Not to mention everyone knows to be afraid of bears. They're large carnivores. Most people don't know to be afraid of moose. Hitting a moose with your car is pretty well a guaranteed fatality, but it's also highly underestimated how dangerous these things can be on their own. They can be around the same height as a transport truck and have a nasty temper if you decide to bug one. Being knocked unconscious. Lots of popular media makes it seem like a minor thing that an average person can shrug off after a short period. In reality, if you are ever knocked out, then you have suffered brain damage. It's possible there might not be any lasting effects but it's a serious injury and you 100% need to see a doctor if it ever happens to you. Doing nothing for a long period of time. It gets addictive and it's the hardest thing ever to get back on your feet. Can confirm. Currently sat outside my work on first day back and damn it was hard to get up at 6 this morning after doing nothing throughout lockdown. Eating a lot of spinach. Believe it or not people have had kidney failure from 3 spinach smoothies in a day. This is due to the high levels of oxalic acid. Uck now all night long you'll be wondering if I'm spinach poison. Blocking your nose when you sneeze. Though it's rare, you can damage blood vessels in your eyes and nose, you can rupture your eardrum, and you can even have an aneurysm. Dad sneeze hilti sneeze. Add chulu go up li e my husband when he sneezes. A kind of random one but don't eat uncooked slugs or snails. They can have parasites that will make you paralyzed and eventually kill you. An Australian kid died a couple of years ago from it, an awful way to go. I think him safe from this one. Driving, like you see the statistics of car crash deaths but I don't think you ever truly realize how dangerous it is to simply drive somewhere since it is such a routine thing. Life on the road would be safer if five-year mandatory retests were a thing, and not just for seniors. I don't know where you are, but the quality of the tests in California are a joke. My 85-year-old grandmother who answered completely incorrectly on the vision test and is now suffering from dementia was given her license. I once witnessed the examiner coaxing an elderly man through his vision test. Frightening. They had one job. Jesus. Not wearing sunblock. Living alone. If you get seriously injured or ill at home and you're unable to reach a phone, your chances of survival are much lower than if you have at least one other person in the household. Had an older employee who lived with her son. She didn't turn up for work. Very common to no show no call at our workplace, just not for her. I had a weird feeling after she wasn't picking up when I called. Waited a few hours and decided to go knock on her door. No answer but her car was there. I phoned the non-emergency police line and they showed up and broke in. She was found in her bedroom on the floor completely out of it and turns out she had a very bad case of meningitis. She was admitted to the hospital for a month and they told her if she had been found by her son by the time he returned home from work, four hours after we found her, she most likely would have been dead. Trust your weird, gut feelings. Edit, what the heck, thanks to the kind souls for the awards gold. It's super appreciated. You are awesome, every manager I've ever had would have let me die. Anything under tension can be dangerous. Guitar strings hold around 200 pounds of tension. A game of tug of war can put thousands of pounds of tension into a rope. It's even been known to kill people. Here's a list priceonomics.com. True story as a 14 year old I played a game of tug of war with a large number of people and the rope snapped and whipped back and hit me, leaving me with three fractures in my hands. Three surgeries and lots of PT later I'm happy to report no nerve damage but I'm never playing that game again. When I used to compete on tug of war in Japan for my local community, I had to wear a helmet. It seemed ridiculous until now. Misinformation Deep cuts on your fingertips. They're called felons and can infect your bloodstream. Clean them out and if you see a red line traveling up your arm, get yourself to the ear immediately. My neighbor almost died from this when she cut her finger on her violin string. Edit, removed my advice about changing tires. My main point was don't go under your car if the tire's off without a jack stand, but that should be obvious. My old roommate got a cut on his finger from a broken glass in a sanitation sink, bartender, and was complaining that it was sore and swollen. I had heard about the if you see a line going up your arm, you need to get to a hospital thing and ask to see his arm. Sure enough, he had a red line almost to his elbow. He got to the ur and caught it in time. 